Hey everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this text animation inspired by Pixray. This text animation is very simple, but it has few tricks that I highly suggest you watch this video until the end. So before we proceed further, it would be really nice of you to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already subscribed yet. And also, let's don't forget to give a huge shout out to Pixrate for his amazing works. Now, let's continue. Alright, so we're going to start with making a new composition. I'm going to call it the text design. The width and height is set on 9020 by 9020. The duration is 8 seconds and the frame rate is set on 24 frames per second. So this is okay. Now, what I'm going to do on the next step is that I'm just going to create my text. So one thing that I'm going to do is that I'm just going to turn my composition background a bit darker so I can work with that better. Now, what I'm going to do is that on the next step, I'm just going to select the type tool and I'm going to write the word fresh and let's align it to the middle. And what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to get back to the properties panel. And this time I'm going to change its font from compressed medium to condensed and let's say black. So around here should be fine. Let's push it a bit above. I'm going to duplicate it. And this time I'm going to just write the word start. So this is going to be our text. And now on the next step, we need to create a letter morphing animation between the fresh start word. And I think this is the trickiest part for this video and yet it is really easy. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to duplicate this text and I'm going to press Ctrl plus Alt plus an uh, up arrow key to move it above. And let's color label it to orange. And this time I'm going to change this font from the condensed black to compressed bold and same as the start and uh, I'm going to duplicate it one more time and I'm going to push it above and let's change its uh, color to green and let's solo it so we can see it better and this time I'm just going to increase the stretching to like 220 so I'm going to stretch it all the way well, this is a lot so let's set it just on 20, so that is fine. Same as the start, I'm just going to set it on 20. However, I'm just going to push it down. And let's push this text a bit down as well. That is good. And now let's reveal the text. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select the fresh word and I'm going to turn its color into a blackish color like this. And then I'm going to select the start boards and then I'm going to just give it a skin color. Let's say around here should be fine. Now we are going to turn these text into shape one by one by one. So I'm just going to unsolo everything except the first fresh start. And I'm just gonna start adjusting them. Okay, that is good. And then I'm gonna turn them into shapes. We don't need the text layers, so let's delete them. And what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna set some path keyframes by using the crazy shapes. That is good. Now, this time I'm gonna unsolo the word fresh two and then I'm going to turn it into shape again and then what I'm going to do is that let's just delete the original text I'm going to turn it into path keys and then on one second I'm going to paste it for the original fresh layer something like this okay that is good let's go towards two seconds and this time I'm just gonna stretch it so I'm just going to reveal the fresh tree. Let's turn it into shapes. And again, I'm just going to set some path keyframes. I'm going to select them. I'm going to go towards two seconds. And then I'm going to select these keyframes. And also I'm going to press tilde key so I can only see the keyframes. And on three seconds, I'm just going to finish the loop. So we don't need 
other fresh uh, layers anymore so let's just delete them right so this is going to be our text which is good now let's move towards the start which is the next one and I'm gonna do that uh, quickly I'm gonna again let's delete it we don't need it on one second which is in here I'm just gonna um, set some path keys and then I'm gonna reveal the original one let's paste it for the first set of keyframes and let's delete it we don't need it anymore okay that is good let's go towards the two seconds and then i'm gonna do another so we don't need this fresh actually we can delete it and then i'm gonna reveal this one i'm gonna turn it into shapes and again i'm just gonna set some path keyframes and i'm gonna paste it for this one however this time as you see when we stretch it we need to push it a bit down so what i'm going to do is that when it's in here let's select every keyframes and i'm gonna hold space so we can see better and i'm gonna push this takes a bit down all the way to here okay and then i'm gonna delete this original layer so that is good and then I'm gonna finish the loop like this. Okay, let's set the time indicator on three seconds and let's watch. Okay, the movement is ugly. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna press U, I'm gonna select every set of keyframes and I'm gonna set the easings on 80% on motion tools. Great, now the easings is good. But we can make it even better by offsetting the keyframes by one frame. So I'm going to uh, start with the start outline. So if I select the first set of keyframes, as you see, this will be our S. And now the T is highlighted. So I'm just going to push the T. I'm going to go towards one second. And I'm going to move it by one frame in here. And then I'm going to select the A. As you see, these two belongs to the A. And I'm going to push it a bit in here. And then this is going to be our R and I'm going to push it by one frame and then this is going to be our T. So I'm going to push it by one, by one frame. So as you see, now it looks much better. Now let's do the same step for the fresh. So this is going to be our F and this is going to be our R. Let's go towards one second and let's offset it by one frame same as the E and now same as the S and lastly same as the T let's make sure that it's offset by one frame that is great now it is time to stylize our text but before we get to the stylization if you have enjoyed this video so far, it would be really nice of you to hit that like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content. Now let's get to the styling. So the next thing I'm going to do that is that I'm just going to create a new adjustment layer and I'm going to call it warp. And as you have already guessed, I'm going to add the warp effect and I'm not going to change anything except the warp style. I'm going to change it from arc to and let's say uh, I'm going to change it to wave and as you see now we have something unique in here which is crazy and then on the last step what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to go towards the assets panel and I have a texture in here I'm going to apply it to the text and then I'm going to change its mode from normal to silhouette so if I change it to silhouette as you see i set it on silhouette basically alpha so this is our texture which is good now let's go to the last part which is creating our main design i'm gonna call it main now i'm just gonna bring the text design along a square crunch texture that i have in here and i'm gonna just fit this one 
crown here and let's also make, make the text a bit smaller so I can give a bit room to the texture and then I'm gonna add a background let's set it for our skin color something like this and now let's adjust our texture a bit around here can be fine let's set it on 32 32 seems to be a lot 34 and then I'm gonna add a fill effect and okay this is just to let's move push it around here and lastly we can add a post rest time effect and we can set it on 12 for a cartoonish look so now we have something like this let's set the loop on three seconds and here's the final result and i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for future content thank you so much Goodbye.